What's happening, good people? My name is Blues Furman, and this is your news for now. Today, it has been about, I'm going to say, three, maybe four weeks since Runway ML's Gen 3 Alpha came out. In the past, I have really enjoyed playing with video generation models, but there's always been some problems with them. They're great, but they're not quite there. And the effort and time and honestly money that you have to put into getting a decent generation does not really equate to the payoff, at least not for me. Is Gen 3 any different? It's been a few weeks. Everybody loves it. I was loving it at first, but I wanted to wait. I wanted to give it some time before I said anything about it. But now I think the honeymoon phase is over and I'm ready to talk about it and show you some things I've been doing. Okay, so first off, a couple of things you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need your Runway account. If you haven't got one, run on over to Runway ML. Get yourself some credits. You're going to spend them. You're going to spend them quick. You want to jump into this guide and get a really good understanding of how you want to prompt and how you need to prompt for text to video. Once you get into Gen 3 Alpha, you can prompt, you can put something here or just click on right here, the guide. It's gonna take you here. It's gonna walk you through some things. This prompting structure is three elements, camera movement, establishing scene, additional details. This is great. What I did was took this a step further. I jumped into Claude. You should be able to do this in chat GPT as well. I'm going to show you a way to work without the paid version. I've taken some prompts from a some prompt generation from a couple of different sources, kind of smushed it together in an amalgamation for you. This way you don't have to do anything as far as adding any kind of custom knowledge, any kind of database, anything like that to your language model that you're using, you can use this prompt. So let's copy and paste this. So I'm going to show you how to drop this prompt into the free version of chat GPT. If you paste this in, tell it to go, it's going to read through it and respond just like we asked it to understand. Let's get to it. Provide me with the details of the scene you have in mind, including the main subject, location, time of day, and any specific actions or elements you'd like to include. This will help me create a detailed, vivid, and dynamic prompt for you. We're just going to go with a fuzzy blue monster running down a country dirt road at midday. Let's see what we get back. Then we get our simple dynamic tracking shot. The camera follows a fuzzy blue monster sprinting down a sunlit country dirt road flanked by tall grass, wildflowers, swaying in the midday breeze. <laughs> we already have something here. Check this out. Let's see what we got. I love it. Look at that. Is he sweating? What is that falling off of him? What's going on there? Look at that. He is looking super happy. All right, that was our chat GPT version. Let's do a Claude version and see what we get. Five seconds again. There we go. That's in the queue. I'm curious to how different the prompt is with all that knowledge base loaded in. You get a lot more detail like this, but again, we're just looking for this Sprints down a dusty country road, golden midday sun, long shadows, handheld camera follow, billowing. Well, let's see what this one does for us. So I think I am not as big of a fan of this one. Let's check this out like this. This looks like there's some big dog running on a sideways country treadmill. I'm thinking the chat GPT 4.0 version was much better. Look at that big sweetie. He's a big fluffy blue sweetie. Look at that. He's a good boy. <laughs> That's just fun. So, there we go. I'm calling this the winner so far. We're at 88% with our knowledge base loaded, too. There's another one. Uh, I think I like the look of this one a little bit better, but it's kind of weird because he's upright. I think he's upright. Maybe he has arms too. I'm I'm not really sure, but this is fun too. This is fun too. Actually, that's a good prompt. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Okay, so the question really does become at this point. 
since it is so much better than it was a year ago, even six months ago. Is it worth it to dive back in if you decided to take a break because it wasn't quite there yet? It's still fun to play with. But if you have a vision that you're looking to complete and you believe that AI is the way for this, this text to video or even image to video, if you believe that is the way to go, be prepared because you are going to spend money. Not every generation is going to be a great generation. I did three generations right there. Just a slight bit of editing to show you what each one turned out to be. These were right in a row. I cut out the wait time of the generations. Other than that, these were the first three generations. I took them one with from chat GPT, one from Claude, and then one from a Claude project. You see the differences with them. If I generated them, with the same prompts again, I could get different results. I could get much better results, wholly different results that are completely awesome and look Hollywood grade and have the best five, maybe even 10 seconds of footage, incredibly useful. It's a roll of the dice though, because I could also get just the stuff that is nightmare fuel. And I've gotten some really ridiculous things, but this is the chance you're still taking. Not every take is going to be great. Of course, if you're working with live actors, not every take is going to be great. So here's where I am with this. Is it better? Yes, absolutely. Is it worth it? Well, it depends. I'm not going to say it's bad because it's not. I'm not going to say it's perfect because it's not. It's definitely better. It's definitely fun. And I'm going to keep playing with it. Just be mindful of my budget as I do it. That's all I got for this time. I want to thank everybody for coming by, spending some time with me. If you found value in this, please give me a like, give me a share, share with some friends who may be interested. Any little bit helps. You know, that subscription button hitting it's free. It doesn't cost a thing, but I do appreciate your time. Thanks, everybody. Now go make something awesome. In the year 2157, Humanity reached for the stars, driven by curiosity and hope. Our first interstellar colony, Horizon Bay, held the dreams of billions. But we were not alone. As Horizon came online, in deep space we encountered them. Alien, hostile, unrelenting. Now outnumbered and outgunned, we face extinction. Our technology, obsolete. Our weapons, useless.